It has been a hurricane season like no other, with one storm after another wreaking havoc in the Atlantic. Today, Ophelia became the 15th storm of the season. Already 162 American Red Cross volunteers from our region have been deployed to areas to help in the disaster relief efforts. 63 of them were sent to the U.S. Virgin Islands in Florida in the wake of Irma. They're finally returning home after weeks of providing aid. KXY 4's Caroline Flynn working for you with the story of one volunteer who spent three weeks in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Caroline? Well, after Hurricane Katrina, Red Cross volunteer Summer Warfield said she wanted to get involved and help. For four and a half years, she's been providing aid locally at the scenes of home fires. And last month, she took her first trip out of the state to help with hurricane relief. It wasn't Summer Warfield's first trip to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Last year, she visited part of the gorgeous green area of the Caribbean on her honeymoon. Only this time, she found a much different place. The first thing that struck me is how brown everything was because the winds had gone through and just blown all the leaves off. All the foliage was gone. Most of the limbs were off trees, so they were very bare trees kind of standing. St. Thomas, where she touched down, was severely impacted by Hurricane Irma. She and the other volunteers got to work immediately. Well, so many of these people had lost their jobs because this is a very heavy tourist area. The resorts were non-functional. There was no power. There was no running water, the severe damage. Those displaced resort workers offered to help, and Summer was in charge of getting them to homes of people who couldn't leave. They needed help, they needed water, they needed tarps, they needed food, they needed baby supplies. So getting those local volunteers to work with our volunteers who were deployed because I knew the area was key. And then Hurricane Maria hit. Now Summer was setting up shelters for those still displaced from Irma. There were some moments when it was happening and that I was thinking, what was I thinking? I should just be, I should have gone home. But when it was gone, I was really glad that I had stayed because the people needed us. When summer left, the work of the Red Cross was far from done. Hurricane Maria had halted deliveries to the island. There was no fuel or potable water. She says right now there's a force of people down there trekking over rubble to make sure deliveries get to those who so desperately need it. In studio, Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News. And so much more to be done there. Thank you for that story, Caroline.